Uh, good morning, class. Today we'll be doing geometric sequences. Hello. Uh, in case you don't know, I hail from a city called Manchester. And I am a guest in your class. And your teacher, bless him, his name is Robert. He asked me to ask you to say a certain chant. Would you say it after me? Uh, yay math. It's a moth. It's a moth. <laughs> My favorite accent between American and British is the name for your beverage, H2O. What do you call it? Water. 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 And what do the Americans call it? Water. 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 That's because we don't like them very much. Or if you're from oh. New York, you say water. Uh, water. Water. It's water. water. Okay, the basic premise behind geometric sequences is that it's a sequence that progresses with multiplication. Oh. Observe. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Those are progressing by five. <laughs> by three. <laughs> times three. <laughs> Is each term in the sequence by three? <laughs> is each term in the sequence progressing by multiplication? Yes, it is. And what is that common term? Three. 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 Three, sir. The common ratio. Thank you. Don't interrupt. We're trying to learn. You will. If you have something to say, please say it. Sorry. We uh, say that all the time. Sorry. So the common ratio, we'll call it as three. If you remember, in arithmetic sequences from previous, we had a variable called D for difference. Oh. Currently, we'll call it R for ratio. Fair? Fair. 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 <laughs> what if I said okay. unjust? OK. So try this one on for size. I hope it fits in your knickers. <laughs> is this a geometric sequence? Does it follow a certain path of multiplication? Yeah. No. No. I don't know. No. I do not know. Negative one and a half. Perhaps you are correct. Perhaps to get from three to negative three halves, you multiply by negative one half. Exactly. Oh. And to get from negative right. three halves to three fourths, we multiply by negative one half again. Oh. Oh. Spots of tea, anyone? <laughs> Bloody brilliant. And crumpets. I'm afraid I don't like bergamot very much. <laughs> Chamomile. Chamomile. <laughs> Okay, so the common ratio in this case would be negative one half. Questions? Feel free. No. Okay, now, if you were to be asked what would be perhaps the tenth term in this sequence, you could either multiply by negative one half again and again and again, or there's a formula. Would you like to see it? Yeah, no, I prefer to multiply again and again and again. That's too and bad. Again. <laughs> and again. I think I get once more, that will get me the time. <laughs> so for those that don't want to multiply, here's your formula. Like so. And hopefully by now you're comfortable with terms. What does A N? Ten. What's it stand for though? The final, the final number. The final. tenth term. Oh. Since we want the tenth term, it'll stand We want the tenth term. term. Okay. So let's go ahead and go A, ten. Equals. Ten. Tenth term. Okay, in this particular sequence, what is Three. A1? Three. Three. What does A1 mean? The first the number first in the sequence. Three. The first term. Three. What is our common ratio? One half. Negative one half. Negative one half. And... What we raise this power to? 10 minus ten 9. 10 minus 1, which will be 9. Correct. So, let's proceed. 3. Negative 1 half to the 9. Okay. Alrighty. So, in your calculators, what is negative 1 half to the 9th power as a fraction? So, perhaps you'll want to do 2 ninths as a fraction. 
also as an exponent. Exponent. Okay. Well, what about negative one negative over five hundred twelve. Oh, good tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the mountain. Huh? Spot right? of tea. What? What's that? Oh, I got negative one over five hundred twelve. Five twelve. So how do you do it? Yes, two to the nine. Five twelve. Okay. So negative three over five twelve. No, negative one. Okay, times three. Oh, right, right, right. Right, simply two to the ninth. Two to the okay. ninth is five twelve. And negative one to the ninth is negative. Thank you for that. Fantastic. Okay, questions? No. Find the 15th term of a sequence having first term negative 4, ratio negative 2. I wonder how I'm just totally milking it. <laughs> Find the 15th term. Is this a new problem? Yes. I can help you. Yes. Cheers. Oh, you can help, you can aid, you can aid me. Okay, first things first. Shall I, shall I write the formula? I, I can't see the... It's a really big number. Yes, must be. Must be. Okay. Yes, mate. A fifteen. A fifteen equals um, negative four uh, times negative two over negative four minus one. Oh, you negative over fifteen minus one. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Questions on that? Yeah. Questions. <laughs> Okay, it's just a calculator issue now. 65, 5, 3, 6. So what's negative 2 to the 14? I got a negative 6, negative Okay, it's going to be positive. You have to be very careful. Use parentheses in your calculator. Negative 2 to the 14 will be positive. So it's 16,000 what? Multiply by times negative sixty-five thousand. Negative four. Sixty-five thousand five hundred. Thirty. Sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-six. No, it's negative. It's going to be negative. Because the negative oh. times the positive. No, why? You have to put parentheses oh, around the two. Yeah, before yeah. You. Right. right. And and you have to think. First term negative. Third term negative, fifth term negative, correct? He lies! He's not really British! <laughs> I am shocked. I'm, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> Bloody Brit. <laughs> so, in a geometric sequence, you can progress from negative to positive to negative to positive. If the R happens Brilliant. to be negative. Okay, now, write... Last one. The general formula for this. What about the corporal formula? Is that one? <laughs> you do, what are you talking about? For this problem, do you do um, negative 2 um, to the 14th and then do you times negative 4? Correct. Order of operations. Okay, let's write the general formula for this. Okay. General formula. Okay. General formula means we don't know what n is. We don't know what n is. We can find the tenth term or the twentieth term. Okay. So a of n Correct. equals a. Um, negative four. Good. Times negative two. 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 To the n minus one. Is that, that's it. Questions? Yes. I don't, yeah. what, what is write the general formula for me? This. Okay, spending the accent. In order to answer the question, all right, is that this formula will work for this sequence 
to give you any term you want. Oh, so if you want the 13th term, right. the second term. Right. If you want the 13th term, simply plug 13 in for n. Okay? That's the general? That's it. Yay, math! Yay, math! Yay, math! Yay, math! Yay, math! Yay, yay, math! Yay, 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 Cheers. Cheers, Mike. Uh, you can uh, say goodbye. Say bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 Bye